Even now, there's still a debate raging on as to whether or not stretching will actually help your performance on the bike when it comes to the amount of power you're pushing out. However, it certainly will help you from a couple of aspects. First of all, it will help you get more comfortably into an aerodynamic position, whether that's on your road bike and mountain bike. And secondly, it's a great idea to keep the flexibility that you've got as you get older. Cycling is notorious for tightening up certain muscles and tendons, especially the hamstrings. So it's essential that you regularly stretch to make sure you lessen that tightening. So here are five simple stretches that you can do post-ride. First up, it's quads, and you've no doubt seen this one before. So pick up your foot by your ankle, pull your heel towards your buttocks, whilst keeping your thighs pushed forward, and you should feel a real tight stretch along your quad. Just to make sure you keep your balance, it's always a good idea to rest your arm against a wall or flat surface. Now, as we've already mentioned, cyclists have notoriously short hamstrings, and there's a reason for this, and that is that as you're pedaling, you never fully extend them as you're going around the pedal stroke. So it's a really important one to focus on post-ride. Matt's going to demonstrate one now. What he's doing is keeping his feet shoulder width apart, trying to keep his back and trunk as straight as he possibly can as he bends down and reaches towards the floor. What you do want to do is try not to put too much pressure here on the lower back. And in fact, if you've got any discomfort there, there are a number of different ways of stretching your hamstrings. You can even put your leg up onto some kind of sofa or stool, or alternatively, you can simply get down on the floor and do the stretch there. And remember, no bobbing. This is just a simple lunge. Make sure you keep your hips pushing forwards and you'll feel a really good stretch across the front of your hips. And just do this three or four times on either side. So on your back, grab behind your knees, pull gently towards your chest, hold it, then release and repeat. Do this about three or four times on either side. And for the last stretch, just hold it for a few more seconds. Okay, this next one is designed to stretch your glutes. These are the largest muscles in your body and most people will use them a fair bit whilst they're riding a bike. To do it, all you need to do is lie on your back like Matt's doing now, put one ankle over the other knee, and then pull that knee up towards your chest. You're going to feel the stretch here in your glutes and also possibly down the side of your leg on your IT band. It's a great stretch for cyclists. Hold it there for 10 or 15 seconds and repeat it three or four times on each side. It's, around, it's all around there. Oh, must be, I'm tight in my groin. <laughs> <laughs> my big toe seized up, haven't you, <laughs> This is just a simple lunge. Make sure you keep your hips up. Sorry, I made a massive, I was quite, I was quite ballerina-like on the last one. Yeah, it should be, you can feel it there. Yeah. Put your head down, then you're back on the floor. You're, you're... <laughs> <laughs> that must be I can't be so stretched by the end of this. So. <laughs> so my my That's better. <laughs> <In hell. laughs> it's like a different leg. Well, it is a different leg. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some more videos with great exercises to do for cyclists, hosted by Garmin's chiropractor, Matt Rabin. To see that playlist, click up here. And if you want some more training videos, click down here. And to become a fan, click on me and Dan.